What about the marathon runner who won the marathon last weekend, but now he can't stop running? Mm. Yeah, he ran past my house this morning. He was weeping, begging for someone to tackle him. That does sound pretty interesting, but it doesn't sound like a lead story. What else do you got? Uh, no, nothing. I know nothing. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Oh, here's something. Apparently, there's a malfunctioning talking greeting card that's insulting everyone. According to the shop's Facebook page, the card is mostly making fat jokes, so women are boycotting the shop. Mm. Excuse me. Hey, hey I'm, uh, excuse Stan. me. If you got a delivery, the sign says drop it in the back. So, what else you guys got? Uh, just got a tip from an adopt a dog service in town. They're having issues getting many dogs adopted, including a Nazi German Shepherd, a Peedle, it's a poodle who can't poo, and a dog that looks just like a baby. Oh, yeah, I heard about that dog looks like a baby. I hear it also cries like a baby. Yeah, I heard it got up and walked around like a baby. Maybe it is a baby. Why are you still here? I told you delivery's in the back. Actually, I'm not here to deliver anything. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. If you came for that toilet cleaning position, it's already been filled. Thank you for the job, Jim. Well, Frank, you earned it. I'm Stan Neely. I'm from Boston. Oh, Stan Neely, the website producer. Yes. Yes, hi, I'm hi. Cindy Fox. Hi. I'm a writer for the paper. Hi, nice. Welcome. Thank you. Frank Falco. Oh, you designed the current site. It's one of my jobs. I'm also head technician in the toilet area. Well, well, well. If you aren't the college boy that's come to our town to swoop our newspaper into the 20th century with your virus videos, huh? If you mean viral videos and 21st century, then yes. <laughs> At Harvard, I founded the school's first what? time. What'd you just say? Uh, at Harvard. You said Howard. You didn't say Harvard, did you? Did you park the car in the Harvard parking lot? Did you park the car in the Harvard <laughs> parking lot? <laughs> I, think, I think it meant park your car in the Harvard yard. yard. Why don't you park in someone's yard? Then you ruin the grass, asshole. Well, you might have gone to Harvard, but just remember, I'm the editor-in-chief of this paper, or should I say, blog. <laughs> I guess it's okay to spit in here? Yeah. Jim's father, Jim Sr., ran this paper for 60 years. And when he passed, he bequeathed it to Jim Jr. here. I thank the good Lord every day that my pappy never had to live to see the internet. Oh, he died several years ago? No, he died three months ago. <laughs> Stan, we were just pitching ideas for the paper's lead story. The blog. I'm so sorry. It is darn difficult to stop saying paper. The way I look at it, you're not so much losing a paper as you are gaining your own news network. I mean, that just sounds dandy, Stan. It just, wouldn't that just be dandy, everyone? Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it will be dandy. Uh, thanks, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you. So, excuse me, I'm just gonna go take a powder. You've obviously noticed how pretty Cindy is. Yeah, we saw you staring at her butt on the way out. That's rude in our town. No, I, uh, I wasn't looking at her butt. What were you staring at then? Her head. Well, you're attracted to the back of women's heads. Is that a porn category you go to? I was just and watching her I mean, leave. I feel pretty weird because we used to date. Oh, hold on. You guys went on one date because Cindy felt sorry for you. I am not looking to be anyone's boyfriend. That's good. And if you ever broke her heart, I'd have to break your face. Or at least give it a slap. Okay, you can stop talking about her now. She's back. I, Don't look at her butt either. Stan, be cool. She's right here. I we was, don't talk about I her when she's about right you. here. Yeah, he's, he's attracted to the back of your head or something like that. All right, let's move on this rogue greeting card story. Now, Frank, you know how to operate the camera. You turn that son of a bitch on and you point it at someone's face and you go bing, bang, boom. Exactly. Stan, I'm so nervous about being on camera. Really? You shouldn't be, because you got the face for it. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, but reporting the news is much more than just being a pretty face. That's a great point, Cindy. You can have an ugly face like Frank and still report the news. And let me tell you, Stan, the man with the plan, I don't care if my corporate overlord sent you down here. I'm still editor-in-chief. You screw up one of my stories, I'll send you back to Boston quicker than you can say clam chowder. Plit. Stop it. Okay. Easy. We got it. Clam chowder. Oh, boy. There you go. Good job. 
What, you got a soup stutter too? What is a soup stutter? It's a speech impediment that Frank has. Last month, a bunch of homophobes nearly beat him to a bloody pulp just because he was trying to order gazpacho. Gay. No. Gay. You're going to throw out your throat. <laughs> gay, 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 spacho. Listen, Mr. Brady, I'm not going to screw anything up, OK? I just want to help you make your online presence something you are as proud of as your dad's newspaper. P, P, P. P soup? No, uh, I have to go pee. Well, why don't we all carpool, OK, Frank? When you're done, do you want to get the camera and meet us at the car? I better just meet you at the gift shop. I'll take the action new skateboard. Great. Delivery's in the back, Stan. I thought now, I don't mean the back of her head. Mr. Brady really didn't like me in there. Don't mind Jim. He doesn't hate what direction you come from. He just hates that you seem smarter than everybody else. No. No, 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 no. I'm not a snob, all right? I look down on snobs. Snobs are beneath me. OK. I just want to make sure, you know, everybody knows I'm smart enough to do a good job. That's all. I just, I don't understand why a Harvard fellow like you is in a small town in the South. Well, my mom was from the South, um, and I didn't really ever get a chance to know her that well. So I thought moving down here might be a nice way to connect. Oh, Stan, that's so sweet. Also, I had to leave Boston really fast because I got dumped by a lying bitch. Oh, my, she is Stan. Such... Uh... <laughs> I can't believe I just said that out loud. My I'm word. so sorry. That's OK. At least that part about your mom was nice. Yeah, the, the early part was nice, right? That was good. <laughs> yeah. Pull it over, son. What the heck? I'm parked. What is? Oh. That looks like Mr. Brady. That's Jim's twin brother, James. He's the mean one. OK, buddy, I'm going to ask you to ask me to step inside the car. Uh, wouldn't it be easier if I just stepped out? With us expecting rain, our kip me on acid rain will make you hallucinate. Not to mention that shroom rain gives you stomach cramps. Move over. Hi, James. Oh, Cindy, I didn't see you sitting there. Why are you in a stranger's car? Oh, it's OK, James. He's new in from Boston to help the paper become a video news blog. Show me that license, boy. All right, no problem. But you still haven't told me why you pulled me over when I was parked. Well, first off, you're driving a hybrid. What, what are you handing me? This is a state driver's license. We don't honor these. Where's your town driver's license? What's a town's driver's license? Well, Stan, our Kippy Ann is on the border of three states, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi, so we require our own license for the town. Stan, about 60 years ago, there was a serial killer in these parts named Stan, and he was exactly your age. Well, that's not me. Whoa. I already had one Stan rip this town apart. I'm not about to let that happen again. You get it, punk? Yes, sir, yes, sir. James, let him go. Just take it easy. He, he's a good person, even if he is a little bit different. Just let me drive him, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Sugar on top. Oh, Cindy, you know I love sugar. This is just like you to find a wounded dog in the middle of the road and take him home. Let's just hope this time you don't get bit. Oh. Good luck with your blob. I don't see how a man can read the news online while taking a dump. <clears throat> Rhonda? Oh, hi, Cindy. Hi, Frank. Listen, we hear that you're having a problem with one of those talking greeting cards. <sighs> yeah, you're not being crazy again, thinking you're here in the ocean in a seashell. <laughs> You shut up, Frank. Yes, Cindy, um, it was one of our favorite greeting cards. You know, real sweet, real nice. Sings happy birthday once you open it up. Stop singing as soon as you close it. You know, real well-behaved card. OK, well, now you say the cards are insulting people? Yeah, I think some hacker from town somehow hacked into the computer chips and reprogrammed them. Hold on, you think hackers are behind this? They're breaking into greeting card computer chips? I mean, yeah, if they're really good and really determined, I think any great world-class hacker could hack through a greeting card security defenses. What? I can't tell if that's sarcasm. Uh, what's sarcasm? I think that was sarcasm. What? <laughs> You'll find there's not a lot of sarcasm in our town, Stan. <laughs> yeah, not since Gallagher 2 stopped touring. He was really funny. Better than that Gallagher one who stole his material, that hack 
thief. Oh, but you know whose turn now? Gallagher three, Revenge of the Kiwi. No. Yeah, and get this, the hammer is little. Oh my God, we have to go. <laughs> we have to okay. go. How long is Hold he on, doing a run? Oh, I think a couple months. Great, I'm going every single night. Yeah, bring a poncho. <laughs> oh, I have them. I have them from right. Gallagher too. Right. I have five different ponchos. Right, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, <sighs> let's film this report, all right? Uh, Rhonda, can you show us where the card is? Oh, I am not going back there. No, 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 I have been insulted enough as it is. It's just a greeting card. Can't be that mean, right? <laughs> you say that until it sizes you up real good and says something insightful that gets you where it hurts, yeah. What did it say to you? It said, oh look, you can't have kids. That's not even clever. It knew everything about my body That's awesome. and my attitude. Because my attitude's not helping me get kids either. OK, Rhonda, that's OK. We're not going to make you go back there if you don't want to. <sighs> Thank you, Cindy. It's back in that corner in between the holiday wrapping paper and the gangster wrapping paper. Yeah. Oh, I'm so nervous. Do you have any tips for my first on-air report? Oh, yeah, no, you're going to be great. Just talk the way you write. How can I talk with my fingers? No, just just be natural, like you are in your writing. <laughs> Come on, don't listen to this guy. Cindy, just be natural, how you are in your writing. Okay. Oh, okay, this must be the card. Happy birthday. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Yeah. What's up, tiny dick? <laughs> okay, there it goes. <laughs> I heard said you had a tiny dick. Yeah, I... Heard. I'm gonna get that. Okay, I no. hear your last girlfriend wouldn't blow you because she's afraid of needles. <laughs> All right, no, that's... Uh, okay, that obviously, a uh, happy birthday greeting card can't know anything about my penis size. Stan, maybe you should just close the card and walk away. No, that, that would be silly, okay? We still have to film your report. If you're going to film your dick, then you'll need a zoom lens. <laughs> happy birthday! Okay, no, I do not have to take these attacks. <laughs> Tiny dick. Ah! Oh. 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 Happy birthday. I've seen a bigger cock on an amoeba. I no, that's not. Ah. Oh. <laughs> if everyone could just Happy back up. Birthday. The card just told me this dog I adopted looks like a baby. Apology cards shouldn't be mixed in with greeting Happy cards. Birthday. Well, that card told me my breasts were pretty good. Pretty good? They're great! You destroyed my star! I've never heard a greeting card scream like that. It was the most awful, tortured screams. Well, Rhonda, I'm afraid you're experiencing PTSD. Probably PTSD. Oh, no, not PTSD. OK, there's no way she has post-traumatic stress disorder. What's that? Because of you, I have pretty tiny snot discharge. <gasps> You had the right to remain silent. Anything you say is something that you have said. You are not in touch with your emotions. You think you are better than these people. Your girlfriend thought you were a snob. A, s a snob? Did your car just call me a snob? You think because you're from the big city that makes you smarter than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, speak on that. <laughs> Frank, don't side with the card. No. <sighs> It's true, all right? When I first moved to Arkipiana, I didn't know about the town's driver's license or talking greeting cards or everyone's hatred for hybrids, but now I know that those are just a few of the wonderful things that make Arkipiana the unique place that it is. And that's why I moved here, to get some new experiences and try to make a difference. And you have a small dick. Mother fucker! Don't break my car! God! Ah! 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 
You gave him a heart attack. He's dying. Oh, no. Oh. You killed that old man. Oh, no, 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 no. What have I done? No, 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 no. Did I kill him? Yes, you killed him. No, no, no. Fine job, Stan. I guess you are the man with the plan after all. This has got to be sarcasm, right? What sarcasm? You did it. You killed the most wanted criminal in the history of Arkipiana, the notorious serial killer, Stan Strassen. Oh my gosh, Stan, you got Stan, Stan. You're a hero. <laughs> You know, I resented your city rat ways, but now I see that you're a hero and you have a good fart. Uh, I think you mean good heart. Hey, how would that work? No. No, a good sweet fart is what you have. That's right. That was a fart felt speech. And here's another one. Stop lollygagging around and get a report on this. Come on, get! Get! Shoot! Shoot! Wait, where did Officer James go? Hey, you ever hear those Valentine's Day cards with pink farts on them? <laughs> Yo, boy, come on. Pandemonium, death, artificial intelligence. These are just some of the things that plagued the gift shop on Main Street this afternoon, where a Kippiana newcomer tracked down and killed this town's most wanted serial killer, Stan Streisen. Stan, how does it feel to be a hero? Uh, well, I'm hardly a hero, you know, I think I think I have small you know, dick. a small dick. No, 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 no. The the card said that I don't. I don't have a. Well, it's true uh, though. No, I have. Frank. I have a dick. I'm Cindy Fox. Wow, look, it's over 200 views. Yep, we got us a virus video. Oh, yeah. Stan, you did it. It's uh, it's dandy. Yeah. Okay, man. Now, now show us some of those back of the head videos you've. Those don't exist. Show I don't. Us. Come on, don't be shy. She don't care.